of Mike Collier. Bounce back out onto the field. Now Collier picks it up and gets out to the eight-yard line. The ball takes a funny bounce now and then. Rick Kay was down there quickly for the Los Angeles Rams. Collier completely befuddled and Gillum in his own end zone. Unloads one. Connects to his tight end, Grossman. First down for Pittsburgh. And Gillum, good on his first attempt of the night. And he by the wide receiver, Len Swan, bottom of your screen. Third down and seven. Gillum gets the time. Gets it off to Grossman. Gets over the 40. Has another Steeler first down. The 41, stopped by Dave Elmendorf. Randy Grossman has the good hands. First and 10 for Pittsburgh. Ready Dreyer, offside, jump back quickly, no flags. Out it goes to Flyer, and he does not handle it. No, it's not a lateral. Young Grossman has made three receptions for a total of 51 yards. No. Field where Gillum is looking over a second down and 10 from his own 41. Gillum, and he gets it off towards Franco Harris as he's buried by the on-rushing Isaiah Robertson on the blitz, and Gillum is hurt. Oh, did I say a blitz in there. Rating point behind Fran Tarkenton for the NFL passing title. And tonight, not a good night, as you see. Bradshaw, out of trouble. Dumps it off and almost picked off Fred Dreyer. Rams have possession. They move from their own 29-yard line. Their quarterback, Ron Jaworski, going all the way. This is Cullen Bryant. And Bryant out to the 40-yard line, out to the 42-yard line. A huge hole. A simply huge hole for Cullen Bryant. Yard line, first down for Los Angeles. Scribner over the 45, out to the 47. That's four yards, second down and six. Folks. Action fake. Jaworski does not fool. Big number 78, Dwight White. Well, that was really amazing because White first went for a man who thought had the ball. He was just a moment. Gillum and has to hurry. This will be picked off by McMillan. And McMillan returns all the way to the 30 yard line. Pittsburgh Steelers. An ill-advised throw, quite clearly, Alex. Well, I think someone messed up on that pass pattern, Howard. Uh, he seems to be throwing to a spot on the football field, and whether or not he thinks a receiver's going to be there over or not, I can't tell you, but there's absolutely nobody around him whatsoever. No, uh, he wasn't prepared to throw. He waffled the ball in the air. McMillan was the only man in the area. And McMillan sets... Cullen Bryant. Bryant goes down to the 27-yard line. There. The Minnesota Vikings who beat Buffalo today will have the home field advantage throughout the playoffs. They'll entertain Dallas next week, and the Rams should have St. Louis here in the playoffs when they begin. How about that? <laughs> That's Glenn Edwards. Oh, what a beautiful move. What a beautiful move. Glenn Edwards, who teams up in that secondary with Mike Wagner, who's out tonight. Uh, no one will ever be like Ace Katowski as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> First and 10 Pittsburgh. Their own 30-yard line. Franco Harris. Franco Harris tacks on some more yards, heading towards another 100-yard night. Eddie McMillan made the stop on the big man. Mess up in the backfield, but Harris comes away with it after flattening quarterback oh, 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 oh. Bradshaw. He gets nine yards. What a precision play, Frank. Picking and weaving and finding his spots when the spots are apparently not even there. Even more See, remarkable. Robinson turned him in. Even more remarkable when you consider this guy is 230 pounds. Just stripping tacklers away from him. He Kill him with the play action thing. Pass out there intended for Mike Collier. I could have called that one, Howard. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it... Collier. 
Collier gets down to the 21-yard line, hit there by Ken Geddes. Joe Gillum was shaken up, came back in, and is moving the Rams again. Franco Harris gets another Pittsburgh first down. Gillum over the middle, intercepted Geddes, intended for Fuqua. He's made two great plays in a row, Howard. Yep, Geddes is getting a lot of action tonight. The Scribner gets six, seven yards before he stopped by Dwight White. It'll... Going to the outside, Rod Phillips. Phillips has the first down out to the 33 yard line. Hit there by Mel Blunt. Rams, first and ten, their own 34. Cullen Bryant. And Bryant turns the corner. Gets out to the 38 yard line again. Five, it'll be second down and five. Bryant, they try it on the sweep, and he has it. A flag goes down. Number 60, holding Los Angeles, as Dennis Hara. I like the way Tommy Bell spits that out. I... Scribner. Scribner up to the 35. It's five of the yards back, but it'll be fourth down. Carroll with a lot of foot. Dave Brown at his own 24. Brown all the way to midfield. A rookie from Michigan, the number one draft pick of the Steelers. Hit there by Al Cowlings. Chuck Noll looking on. Gives the Steelers the ball at midfield. Gillum's the quarterback. Harris still the setback. Still running and running well. Six yards. Down to the 44. Second down and four. Hit there by Fred Dreyer. Go Harris. Harris. To the 40 yard line. Just short of a first down. Hit there by Dave Helmendorf. Beautiful night for football here in Los Angeles. You saw the full moon. And it has been rock and sock em all the way. Short yardage, Franco Harris bobbled the ball. Rams have recovered. And you don't see that often. Franco Harris coughed it up, the Rams have recovered. Maybe they ought to stop passing altogether. The first half, they were only minus two. Second down, Scribner. He has the first down, and a flag goes down at the line of scrimmage. Ernie Holmes moved across to make the tackle. Moving back then, we got number 65, 65, holding on Los Angeles, a 10-yard penalty from the spot where the flag was down. Tom Mack, the left guard, fans of the Steelers in front of 91,000 fans. This is Jaworski, lots of time, and he drills it over the middle. Ron Jesse. Jesse is close to a first down. Bottom of your screen, number 29. Colin Bryant, tripped up. Good defensive play, Dwight White. Along with Jack Snow and Harold Jackson as the wide receivers for the Rams. Dworsky a lot of time, Willie McGee. Crowd loves it. Pulls, drives out for a gain of four. It'll be second down and six. Good play fake by Jaworski. He fires it off, and it's complete. Great downfield to Harold Jackson. It's about watching Ron Jaworski. You're looking at Jackson there. The ball drilled in. He has a slingshot on Jaworski, does. And Jackson really helped him out. Stepped right back in right. front of Jack Ham yard line of the Steelers. Jaworski. Deflected. Knocked away. The Steelers. Let's listen. We have defensive holding on number 24 of Pittsburgh. It's a five-yard penalty and automatic first down. 
Rod Phillips, the single setback. Jaworski on the draw, he scores. How do you like that? Look at that kid. Well, I've seen that play before, and I think it started in Detroit in 1965. Knox picked it up when he was assistant over there, and that's exactly what he did. Out in front. 9.42, remaining in the fourth quarter. The Rams leading the Steelers 10-3 where it otherwise would have been. In spite of all of our talk about the absence of Terry Bradshaw in this half, except for a brief time when Gillum was hurt, in spite of that, we must re-emphasize that the first-string quarterback of the Rams isn't playing. Their two best running backs, McCutcheon and Bertelson, aren't playing. Franco Harris still the running back. No one does it quite like that. Out to the 34-yard line. Rocky Blyer. Blyer, first down and plenty more. And just absolutely wide open. Well, he really he really keyed himself off that middle linebacker. He saw the middle linebacker take the outside. It was a perfect, easy hole to go through, and Jaworski went through it. Gillum, under pressure, flag goes down. Could be holding. This is Dupois. And he gets inside Ram territory at the 47 and Gillum is shaken up again. He is really shaken up. But came back holding against the Steelers. Drop play Fuqua. Fuqua gets out to the 38. Now he's teamed there with Rocky Flyer. Mike Fanning number 79. Third down. Bradshaw will go down. Freddie Dreyer, number 89. Perhaps the quickest defensive end in the game today. Four kick, the kind you run back. Elmendorf, right to midfield. Cullen Bryant. He goes down. Donnie Shell. A replacement for Mike Wagner. Jaworski. Good protection. Gets it off to Harold Jackson. It's good. At the 32-yard line. For the playoffs. The board to be decided tomorrow. Jaworski. Wide open. Gets it out to Rod Phillips. Phillips struggles for the first down. Moves to the 14. Just about holding on to the football because they can pretty much put it away if they can get their field goal. Rob Scribner stacked up. Tried to sweep from the tight formation. Does have a lot of faith in Dempsey's distance. They let him attempt one earlier from 57 yards. And of course, he is the NFL record holder at 63 yards. This from 34. Long count, hoping to draw the Steelers offside. Block. J.T. Thomas, I believe, was the Ram who got the hand on it. Harrison is in there, number 46. Flag went down. The attempt is to land Swan. But Frank Lewis, a wide receiver, I believe, had missed the count. They had ever won under this man. On the second down. The attempt goes to John Fuqua. Isaiah Robinson was covering him, and now goes Gillum again. Gillum, rifles run into a crowd. Lance Vaughn, the intended receiver. This is pretty. Rob Scribner. Scribner up to the 43-yard line. Football. Rod Phillips. Phillips out to midfield. He gets six. It'll be second down and four. First, we've had a lot of friends and guests drop by the booth. Have Jaworski all the way at quarterback. Hands off to Scribner. Scribner driving for the first down. He'll be short. It'll be third down and one. 
they'll have the football game. They got it. Rob Scripter, who's had a fine night. And the Rams, in running back trouble, have come up with good performances for 33 Scribner, 39 Phillips. Kicking off, 34 seconds. Cullen Bryant will hold on to the ball. It's been an interesting season. We've had some super football games, and we certainly hope you've enjoyed it around the country. The final score as the Los Angeles Rams upset the Pittsburgh Steelers 10-3. to This is Frank Gifford along with Howard Cosell and Alex Karras saying so long from the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum in Los Angeles, California. Fireworks and the world champion Pittsburgh Steelers hit town in the season's last week. Terry Bradshaw discovered how Pittsburgh opponents usually feel as the Rams defensive line sacked quarterbacks all night long. Only Franco Harris proved effective, but when he got his team in close, the Rams shut them down. The game was tense and hard fought right to the end when with the score tied at three, the Rams engineered a picture-perfect 12-play drive. While Coach Knotts and Ron Jaworski, the Polish rifle, decided on one crucial play, the world's greatest fans, 84,000 strong, expected something unusual, and they got it. With a 10-3 victory over the world champion Steelers, a 12-2 season, and a third division title behind them, the Rams were now confident that in the playoffs, the Cardinals would be in trouble.